We looked at Dream's hardest clutches, and in this video, we are going to be looking at Dream's 15 best traps. And the first trap is the subscribe button. That's right, you just got trapped into thinking I was going to start the video. Fill a super one, viewers zero. Let's begin. Before we get into the list, we need to have Dream's first ever trap as an honorable mention. And it was the most basic trap of all time, hiding behind a tree. <laughs> Oh, you went to the left? Did you go in the ravine? What? <laughs> Let's go! Now you can pretty obviously see why I left this one off the list. It's just so simple, but it is a trap. Dream tricked Bad into thinking that he was going into a ravine and then punched him in. Simple play, but it would be a tragedy to leave off the first ever trap. At number 15 is Dream's Lava Fall Trap. In quest. Um, going okay so far. I'm just kind of looking around and um, looking for iron, you know? Are you dream? <laughs> dream, you literally made a trap. <laughs> you had water. This is Dream's second ever trap, and it is his first purpose-built trap. The trap was relatively simple, digging out an area for lava to spread, then sitting somewhere where George would dig down and fall in. This trap opened up a new door of possibilities for Dream and Manhunt, but it's the bottom of the list. All traps that we will have involve some sort of skill, luck, or influence on the remainder of the hunt. The reason that this trap ranks the lowest is due to its influence on the overall hunt. As Dream's fourth Manhunt, we were at the point where we realized that Dream was just too good to go one-on-one. -on -one. He'd won the previous hunt versus George, lost the Slayer hunt because he'd missed an MLG water, and this hunt he was in total control from the very beginning. So although the trap was clever, it added to Dream's breathing room in the hunt more than it shifted the hunt to his favor. At number 14 is the Ocean Monument Trap. Sam, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Oh, the Guardian's get up, I'm gonna get drown. Up. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Let him go down. Like, don't die. This is that's that. He'll drown. I'm literally going to die. Oh, my God. He's literally going to die. 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 He's going to die. He's just going to die in there. What do you mean? We need to go in there. What are you guys talking about? No, he's going to die. He's swimming in the temple. We have mining fatigue and he's swimming in there. There's no way he can get Every time, every time we get this massive advantage, he gets away because we don't want to chase him in somewhere or something dumb and then he gets resources. And somehow beats us. We need to go in now. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Wait, 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 we have no oh. energy, we can't get out! What I like about this trap is how it is dependent on precedent more than skill or planning. You see, this trap only worked because of what Dream had done in previous manhunts. When going somewhere where he quote unquote would die, the hunters would more often than not just leave him alone. But Dream would always escape. Tapnap realized that this was a possible scenario in this situation, so he got the entire group of hunters to come in after Dream. Dream then swam out, trapping the hunters inside. This only worked because of what Dream had done in all the previous manhunts combined, so due to the precedent that Dream had had to have set beforehand, this trap ranks in at number 14. At number 13 is Dream wearing Ant's skin. Come on, come on! Oh my goodness. Go, Never go, mind. move Ant! I need Ant! He's gonna go through. We gotta hurry. He's hurt. gonna make it through. He's gonna make it through. We gotta go fast. Come on, come run, on, come run, on. Run, run, run. Come on, everyone, everyone go, 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 go through go, go, at the go. same time. Come on, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. George, hurry it's up. All Ready? Together. It's all good together. Ready? Three. Wait, wait, wait. Two. Wait. Ready? Go. Go, in. go, go, go. Go, go, go. Shields up. Shields up. Shields up. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. All right, where is he? 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 There's a cave. Where is it? Oh, he's this way. This way. He's not in here. He's not in here. There's TNT here. What? what? There's TNT. There? No! 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 Oh, oh my God! No. Why is there TNT? Oh, what in oh, the world? God. Oh my God! Oh my God! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! He's above us! He's above us! He's above us! He's above us! What? 
Dante's going to aim for us. Oh my god! But he has my skin on! What are you talking? He has your skin on! He has my skin on! This was a clever trick to begin with. We had seen Jane do something similar in the 300s finale rematch by wearing bat skin, but we never saw him switch skins mid-match before. Then after switching skins, Jane dropped TNT down the hunter's holes, killing Ant and Bad. This play was clever, but it's only number 13. Dream only killed two of the five hunters, and the trap didn't buy him any time. In fact, it did the opposite. Dream got through the nether portal about 20 seconds ahead of the hunters, but had to wait for them in order to perform the trap. But then after the trap, three of the hunters were right on his tail, so although the trap was cool and innovative, the effectiveness was minimal. At number 12 is the TNT minecart. Horses? Kill any mobs you uh, come just... across, by the way. Killed a pig. Piggy pig pig. There any mob should kill this horse? No, I mean like food. There he is, there he is, get him. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Yo, yo, yo. He has a shield, be careful, he has a shield. Careful, he has a shield. Careful. Woo! -hoo. That's so much oh. damage. Careful. Oh my god. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Focus health out. What? 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 What was that? What was, was that? that? What? what? Wait, George, George, back up, back up, back up, George. I got the on side, I got the on side. Fun. Oh, I hit him. him. Oh my goodness, that does so much damage. George, get him. He's coming up to me, he's coming up to me. Come here, George, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's right here, he's right here, he's right here. Guys, I'm I'm luring him back. I tried taking it out! Oh god, I'm missing. Oh, I don't have a shield. Come no. on, George, please. George. I don't have a shield, I can't! George, you got this, you got this. I think I just named his shield. Oh, oh. How does the axes do so much oh, damage? Right. Don't, don't. He like two shot me. Personally, I think that this trap was really cool. I like the traps that not only require setup, but exploit lesser used items and game mechanics. That being said, this isn't a Phil with Super's top 15 favorite traps list, but a list of which trap is actually the best. As I'd mentioned though, the use of TNT minecart was quite clever. I can't say that I've ever used a TNT minecart at all when playing Minecraft, let alone seen anyone else use it. But on top of that, the placement was also really good. Dream put the minecart not just on a leaf, but on the opposite side of the tree. This way the hunters couldn't even see the minecart if they were looking at the tree while chasing. But unfortunately, as with the ant skin trap, this trap didn't do much to help Dream advance. Sapnap and Ant died, but Bad and George were still right there. Now, Dream ended up killing both of them, which is what bought him time but Dream had to wait for the hunters to catch up to him in order for the trap to work. This matters really because the only thing that Dream gained was time. This was still very early on into the video and the hunters didn't have any armor yet, so Dream wasn't taking that advantage away from them. On top of that, remember that Dream had to give up 13 iron ingots for this trap to work, and he didn't gain any back from the hunters, but the fact that the trap eliminated two of the hunters, making killing the remaining two relatively easy, buying Dream time, is what makes this play rank above wearing ant skin. At number 11 is fishing ant and bad from the nether roof. Oh, he's got a bow, he's got a bow. Oh, God, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, careful, safe, careful, safe careful. tower, safe tower, safe tower, safe tower. Okay, okay. Safe okay. tower. Okay, okay. I am, I am, I am. Oh, ah. Uh. Yeah, yes, I got him. Watch out, he's trying, to, he's trying to knock you off with the fishing rod. Okay. Just how safe. Just safely. put the launcher on you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 Now I would sound like a broken record if I said this after every single trap, so I'll just say it here and never again. I like the ingenuity for this trap. Seriously though, if you couldn't tell, I'm a bit of an analytical nerd, so when it comes to Dream taking time to perform a move that is thought out in an advanced anticipation of the hunter's moves, I fall in love. Before even grabbing the hunters with a rod, Dream towered up to the nether roof with leaves, breaking them up as he went. By breaking leaves without shears, no block would drop, so the hunters wouldn't have known that Dream was on the roof. This obviously didn't have a real payoff, but I don't want to discredit a good idea because it wasn't fully used. When looking at the trap itself though, you may be wondering why it ranks above the TNT minecart. I mean, only two of the hunters died in both traps, but Dream got an advantage right after the minecart trap by killing the other two hunters, whereas with the fishing rod he did not. It all comes to payout. In the minecart trap, Dream lost 13 iron, but in this trap, Dream not only gained a sharpness 1 diamond sword, but more importantly, he destroyed Bad and Ant's armor, which gave Dream a much stronger tactical advantage. At number 10 is Dream blocking the water in the three hunters. <laughs> I'm getting him, I'm getting him. Yes! No! Yes! <laughs> Get him! Oh my god. Come on, Dream. We're all right behind him. 
Go, George. <gasps> yes! No! He's on the trees, he's on the trees. <laughs> he's so dead. Get him. Wait, what? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, the water. No, no, no! What? What? Yes! Are you joking? What was that? Here is where my list may get a little controversial, but let me explain. This list isn't the hardest, the most clever, or the most effective traps list, but the best, which is a combination of everything. And one aspect that plays in a ranking is the wow factor. This play made me say wow. Wow. Yes, it was early. Yes, this play didn't save very much time, give him extra resources, or even make the hunters lose supplies, but the cleverness and timing was amazing. At this point in manhunts, elaborate traps weren't much of a thing. The pure unexpectedness of this trap blew my mind. Also, when we look at other more complicated traps, we can't help but think that Dream just saw this trap somewhere online and copied it. But with this trap, we knew that it wasn't premeditated from the beginning of the manhunt, but a spur of the moment brilliant idea. At number 9 is the nether bed trap. Yes. Yes. Let's that would work. Do you think that would work? I think it might. You guys, I haven't clicked the oh. this in a while. Are you guys <laughs> met to you oh. in a second? There's evidence of dream being here. Door, Come on, door, this way. Evidence of dream being. Here. No. Mm. <laughs> Big brain. I'm fully oh, easy. Oh, wait. Show. What if there's a trap on the other side, you muffins? Oh my goodness, we're gonna die. Come on. Let's go, let's Wait, go. What is this? Come on, come on, come on, let's go. What is this? It's a. Oh, <gasps> what? what? Yes! Yes! What was that? Oh Wait. my god. Oh. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Again, you have to look at the trap from a contextual standpoint. Dream did this trap in the very first 300s video, which was only Dream's fifth ever trap, but it was the first trap done in the nether. The point is, Although as viewers with 2020 hindsight who often say that the hunters should have seen this trap coming, there was no precedent of traps to this extent. Yes, Bad thought there might be a trap, but his thought process was on the immediate portal traps, not on baited traps. On top of that, nether portals can load inside netherrock walls, so the spawn with one tunnel leading out wouldn't have been out of the ordinary for Minecraft. Let's take a quick look at the previous four traps though. Dream hiding behind a tree, lava trapping George, lava fall trapping George and Sapnap again, and the fall trap of all three hunters. None of these traps had anything to do with exploiting non-PVP game mechanics. Overall, the ingenuity and time spent for this setup, plus the success of killing all three hunters who are in full iron, is what puts this at number 9. At number 8 is Entity Cramming George. No, what are you doing? Dude, listen, listen, I have food, I have a shield, um, like, I don't, he can't kill me, right? I have like 15 food, I can just run. Can you see I'm just, like, he's just saying that, I'm gonna go get some information. Moved it off. Dream, are you AFK? No, I'm here, I'm just smelting. Mm-hmm. He's right here! What? Kill him. Oh my god! I'm dying! What? I'm, what? I'm dead! What just happened? What happened? <laughs> what? I'm, I'm going, yes! Wait, what? Spoiler alert, aside from the bottom two plays, and even including the top seven plays after, this trap is the only trap just to kill one single hunter. First off, the preparation is a huge factor why this play comes in above seven others. Dream had to mine a lot of iron for all the minecarts and the rails as well. Luckily, Dream wasn't put under as much pressure by the hunters while constructing this trap, but nonetheless, the time and thought that went into the trap's preparation were key. I mentioned that this trap only killed one player, but that was the intent. Dream wasn't intending to try and kill the entire group of hunters, but rather just one so he could take their diamond armor. This trap fits into the rankings a little more oddly though because of that. Other traps, like wearing Ant Frost skin, place lower on the list because they didn't kill everyone, but here only one of four die. But we need to look at the rest of the manhunt in order to accurately place his play. Dream was at a huge disadvantage armor-wise before, to the point where it looked like he would need a miracle to win. But once Dream killed George and got the armor, the tide turns in Dream's favor. With full diamond and a punch bow, Dream was in prime position to win. So the combined preparation and payoff are what land this trap at number 8. At number 7 is the Sand Fall Trap. Guys, I see light. Oh, I see his crafting table. I see cobble. Oh, oh he's there! He's there! He's there! Go, 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 go! Hello. Guys, come on. Come on! This is it, this is it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you ready to oh. die? He's just standing still! Oh, he died! <gasps> what?! what? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! What? Oh my god! <laughs> what?! <laughs> what? Wait, what just happened?! Here, Dream constructed a more well-known fall trap. One where he would break a sign and kill all the hunters. Except Ant. Rankings-wise, this trap is up there in large part due to preparation. 
As with the entity cram trap, this trap takes quite a bit of time to set up. In addition, being only a 5x5 square hole, even killing more than just one hunter would be incredibly tough. The timing and patience for Dream to wait until the literal last moment was imperative for the success of this trap. Now you're probably thinking about how Ant survived which ended up being Dream's demise, but that had almost nothing to do with the trap. If we look at the situation after three of the hunters fell in, it only seemed logical that Dream would run after the final hunter to kill him. This would have ultimately won Dream the round, but Ant had a wild card that no one saw coming and had nothing to do with the trap. So the fact that the trap killed three of the four hunters in such a precise manner is what puts this play at number seven. At number six is the Ender Stasis Lure. Oh, I see him! I see him! Where, 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 where? He's right here! He's right here! Oh, me, me, me. Get him! Get oh, him! Wait, why is what? he running? Oh, he's oh, running! Running. running! Why is he? I ran right oh. past him! Oh, careful! Be careful! Be careful! Me, so I'm coming behind him. Back Come on, up, green! Oh, I need to eat! I need to eat! Got him! Come on! Go, oh go, my go, go, God! Go. Oh my God! He got him! He got him! He got him! He's on the tree! He's on the tree! Below him! Below him! Go up! We got him! We literally got him! He's yes, stuck! He's 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 shooting! He's shooting down! He's gonna shoot me up! 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 Be careful, bad! Be careful, bad! Oh, he's hitting you! Be careful, man! Is he still up there? Yeah, he is. He's looking at you! Everyone's ready for when he gets knocked over. I'm gonna pull water. Wait, what? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's disappeared! Right! What? Did he jump down? Did he jump? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's running this way. He did not Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He just disappeared! He literally just disappeared! Let's go! What? This play is different because the trap isn't intended to kill the hunters but rather to lead them away from the stronghold. Simply having the idea to use the stasis chamber in a manhunt was super clever. Even though the hunters kind of knew something was up, they didn't have any idea what it was. And as we've seen, killing every hunter in a trap is extremely difficult. So Dream decided to go a different route with this trap and it was incredible to watch. Even the payoff was high as this bought Dream enough time to get to the end and set up his one cycle dragon glitch which won him the match. At number five is the moss trap. I know, Wait, his intact is right there. He's right here, he's right here. Get him, 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 get Oh, oh, George, let's go! Let's go! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh! Spoiler alert again, every trap from here on out kills every hunter. I'm sorry to ruin some of the surprise, but I need to mention it as it is a big reason why all of these upcoming plays are in the top 5. But as for this play, it begins by Dream getting moss blocks from a chest. I'm assuming most of you know at this point, but for the few that don't, when you bone meal moss blocks, they turn the surrounding blocks into moss. In addition to that, the moss blocks insta mine with a hoe. When Dreamman acted his trap, he caught four of the five hunters in the lava, which in and of itself was impressive. Not only that, but all four of the hunters that were caught in the lava died without ever getting hit by Dream, leaving only George behind. This play was risky as well, bringing Dream all the way down to three hearts, but overall this play settles solidly at the number five spot. At number four is the Frostwalker trap. Just track him. Go this way. Oh, he's towering! Oh, he's towering! He's towering! Go, go, go! Oh he's literally towering! Oh, you are done! Dream, why would you tower in the? Does anyone have a bow? Anyone have a bow? He's towering in the middle of a water thing. I have arrows. I die with it. Just here, I'm gonna tower. Somebody, he's trying to run me. He's trying to run me. He's a fish. He's a fish. Be careful. It's okay. What's he gonna do? Knock you into water? He can't do anything. Don't do it. Don't do it, Dream. Oh my god. Wait, what? What's he doing? What's he doing? Leave me alone, Sapna! No. You left one of these at the base. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I got you bad. Um, okay, switch off. Is that you? Yeah. George, let me, let me pull you up here. Oh, no, 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 Wait, no, no. Dream, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, hey, my. I'm safe, I'm safe. Just keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. I'll sit down here because he jumps up. Okay. Yes, here, uh, Ant, I'm driving some arrows. Pick those up, see if you can kill the, uh, spiders and make a bow. Even when we fall off, we're just gonna survive. <gasps> Come keep, on. keep your eyes on him. Careful, George. <gasps> Where is he going? He's so high up. I can see the whole world from up here. Oh my goodness, I almost can't see you, Ant. 
Why He's are you right going there. so high? So high up. Come down here, you He's still head. going. <gasps> Come on. Okay, I'm coming. Wait. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my goodness, I'm out of blocks. I have to start mining some. Oh no. I got you, Dream. Keep him occupied. Keep him occupied. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't pull me off. Try and fish him. Fish him. I'm Wait, trying. where is he? He's up there. <gasps> oh, I see him. He Ooh. jumped down. Oh, he, he jumped. jumped, down, jumped, down, he, jumped. Down, jumped. Down, he jumped. I'm digging. <gasps> no! What? <laughs> what? What? Yes! yes! He's actually like 10 hearts! What happened? What just happened? Oh my goodness, we're at our own small oh point. No. God. Come here! No! Ah! What was that? This is so stupid. Oh my god, get away, dream! Crazy. Oh! No! Guys, oh go up this water. This play was the second coolest trap I have ever seen Dream do. At the very beginning when Dream made a base for the tower, I was confused. When Dream kept towering high above where he would normally stop when trying to just give himself room to breathe, I was confused. When he was shooting and riding the hunters seemingly trying to knock them off into the water, I was confused. When he didn't throw a pearl to immediately get 100 blocks away, I was confused. And when he jumped off, I was still confused. But then I figured it out. All four hunters died, two from fall damage, and the other two immediately after from Dream killing them. But I think you understand why this play is ranked so high. The pure unexpected brilliance of the trap is what pushes it all the way up to number four. At number three is the end crystal trap. Beautiful. Okay, hold on, there's a boat right here. I like no, wait, this where are you a going? lot. Go down. Um, and <laughs> oh, Dream! Oh, Dream. Oh, Sapnap, oh, George. Kill it. Don't let Dream get it. it. Ooh. Wait, guys, be careful. He could literally be in biz. Uh. Remember, he's got potions. Paper. Kill it. Got it. Zombie. Where is he? <gasps> I, I see him right here. here. Guys, he's there. Dig down, dig down. Go down. Him. Stay with me, stay with me. Dig down. There you go. George, come on. Go! Let's go. <gasps> He's right here! Oh god! Get him, get him, get him! Yes, 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 yes! No! Yes! What? Yes! Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? Yes! What was that? Yes! Are you kidding me? Yes! What just happened? Yes! Why? Wait, what? I have what so much that? gear! As I've mentioned multiple times before, I love when Dream uses an aspect of the game that is less intended for PvP. Now that being said, Crystal PvP isn't something new, but it was in a manhunt setting. If you didn't know, End Crystals deal a max of 97 attack damage, which is equivalent to 48 and a half hearts with no armor. Even if you look at Dream's health, you'll notice that around half his hearts were taken, and he was much further away from the Crystal's explosion. In the grand scheme, it helped Dream a lot. The armor advantage shifted from the Hunter's favor to Dream's, allowing him to kill all three Hunters in the end, until Bad punched him. That all being said, seeing a purpose-built trap that effectively kills all three hunters without Dream needed to do any PvP, that's why this trap is number three. At number two is the TNT Nether Roof Trap. I don't yeah. want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. Oh yeah, oh, no, ready, no, no, ready, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. I'm gonna wait for you guys. Go, wait for us. Go. Wait for us. Going together. Go going together. Go going together. Go on, go on, go on. George, hurry up. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you're getting a muffin. What? what the heck? Where what? are we? What? Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> now you have nowhere to what? run. You have nowhere to run. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? You have nowhere to run, Tree. You have nowhere to run. No, you have nowhere to run. How did you get up you get here? Up How do you, what? You can do oh this. Oh my god. You're on the roof. Okay, kill him. Just kill him. Let's let me get muffin head. Come here, Dream. Leave me alone. Wait. How we? Like how we like here? getting out of? Wait, it? it's going back He's to the border. Oh, no. Stop him! Stop him! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Wait, wait, wait! Is the portal this way? Oh my god! He's TNT in the guy! He's the portal! Wait, wait! No! No! Yes! 
This was the second most effective trap Dream ever did, and listening to the hunter's spirits crumble as they realized that there was no way out other than through death was hilarious. But look at the trap itself, it was quite smart. Dream didn't just throw TNT on a portal, but he first had to get enough obsidian to make a portal on the roof, and then actually get to the roof itself. After that, he had to draw the hunters to him, lure them away from the portal, and then pearl back. Yes, there was definitely some luck involved in the fact that none of the hunters had any way to relight the portal, but nonetheless, the trap worked to perfection. The deaths of all four hunters was what won Dream the hunt. The tides had been so strongly pushed against him up until this moment when everything changed. And at number one is Dream throwing TNT into the end portal. This thing, there's no, you are done, Dream. I refuse to believe there's a way you can win. Thing that could have happened. What? What? Run! What? George! No! Ah. Yes! What? What just happened? Yes! Oh my god! What was that? That worked! What worked? <laughs> yes! No way! No play has ever made me as excited as when Dream did this one. I could remember feeling hopeless as I saw the hunters get the achievement for going to the end. Remember, this was the grand finale. We didn't know yet that Dream would do four hunters. This could have been it, but this trap was spectacular, and on top of it all, it was Dream's original idea. This wasn't an I saw it on Reddit play, but one he came up with on his own, and my oh my did it work well. The timing to have the TNT detonate the very second it went through the portal, shooting out the other TNT so it would blow up the rest of the platform, this play is easily the greatest trap Dream has ever done. It didn't just take away the hunter's supplies, it didn't only kill some of the hunters, it didn't just buy Dream some time, it didn't just win Dream the round, but it won Dream the series. This play is without a doubt the greatest trap of all time. And there you have it. These lists have been an absolute blast to make, but please let me know your list down below. Seeing your perspectives on the different lists I have made has definitely influenced my viewpoint in a positive way, so I'm thankful for all of you guys who helped me make better and more accurate analyses. Now, if you would consider subscribing, that would mean the world to me. Also, after finishing this script, I have officially written over 100 pages of just scripts for these videos, which I'm not sure whether or not to be proud of, but either way, I do put in a lot of effort. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Adios.